This video is going to show you the initial setup and configuration of the Easy One Air spirometer. Open the box. The first thing you see is their certificate of stability, which shows the calibration that occurred at the factory, and also a quick start guide, which is a pictorial of how to set the device up. Open that flap and now we've got the device, easy one air spirometer. And here we have four flow tubes, single patient use disposables. Inside the box we've got a cradle, which is used for connecting to a PC or a printer. chargeable battery that we'll install in a moment. We have a flash drive here that has the user manuals as well as the Easy One Connect PC software if you decide to use the device with a PC. We have a couple of cables here. We have a cable that facilitates connecting the device to a printer or connecting the device to a PC. power connector, an AC adapter that you would plug into the wall and plug into the rear of the device to keep the battery charged. We also have what's called a Bluetooth dongle. Uh, this device has Bluetooth capability and if you have a laptop that has uh, Bluetooth you don't need this but if you have a computer without Bluetooth this will give you that capability. And we also give you one nose clip as a sample. So now we're going to install the battery. So there's a, we rec I recommend a nickel. We use some sort of coin here. Move this up. Take the battery, find the contacts, slide the battery in, close the door and use your coin to lock the battery door. So now we're going to turn the device on and set the initial configurations. First I'm going to remove this protective film. Power switch is up here on the top right. The first thing you're going to see is a world map. So you can indicate which area of the world you're operating from. I'm going to choose North America. Hit Next many languages available. I'm going to leave it set in English. You have various date formats. I'm going to leave it set for the way it is there. That's typical for the US. And you can use an AM, PM or a military time format. Here you can set the current date and time. It's already set for a date now. I'm going to leave it alone, but you can enter any uh, whatever the date is for today. And same for the time. Set AM, PM. And we have uh, various ways to print. The default setting is external printer, which is the standard way to print to a, a standalone printer. We also work with thermal printers, and there's also a way to uh, create PDF reports direct in the device. Hit finish. This is the main menu that you see when you turn the device on normally. At the top here you've got a test type is typically how you would start your test. Uh, there is a default setting for the FEC test. To get to more test types you hit the more button and you can see all the test types that are available within the device. I'm going to go back and the other menu items here reports allows you to get two tests that are already saved if you want to print or review them. Patients lets you see the patient list or review uh, reports against a particular patient and tools gets you to a deeper level of configuration menus so you can set all kinds of things within the device to customize it for use. And the home button is always there for you to get back to the main menu. The most common connection for the system is to connect it directly to a standalone printer. So on the back of the device, we've got some connectors here that you need to be aware of. 
There's two of them. One is for data for either a PC or a printer and the other is where you would connect your power connection. It's very important that you connect to the correct connector there. So we're doing a printer connection so I'm going to take my printer cable connect it to the data connection and then on the other end I'm going to connect it directly to my standalone printer. And from there we're pretty much ready for standalone printing.